sitting the wonderful kitties of my friend and amazing vegan chef and cookbook author Colleen Patrick Goudreau. Colleen has written books like The 30 Day Vegan Challenge and one of my all time favorites which is The Joy of Vegan Baking. If you haven't yet seen it, I highly recommend it. I'll drop the link down below. But it is so, so good and I've made over 50% of it. Loved everything. Highly, highly recommend it. While I am here, I am going to do a What I Eat in a Day video, and I'm also going to be honoring Colleen's efforts to live zero waste. She has been inspiring me to make better and more conscious decisions, to use less one-time use plastic, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to eat today that's zero waste, and I would love to hear some of the tips that you have to lessen your footprint on the earth. If you watch my videos, you probably already know what I'm eating for breakfast, which is oatmeal. To do it zero waste, make sure you buy it in bulk. Here is my coconut, my oats. When you go to the bulk bins, you can bring your own bags to put the bulk ingredients in. I'll drop a link below for the kind I recommend. These are Colleen's but they are very handy. This is a pear that was going bad and I saved it by cutting it up and throwing it in the refrigerator. It looks sad, but it's really juicy. I'm gonna dice this up and throw it in my oatmeal. This cinnamon is Colleen's, but I'm positive that she refills it like I do. I just buy one of these one time and then use it to refill bulk ingredients. I know that Colleen makes her own milk, so if I can find something where she has a recipe, I'll drop that below. I had some when I was here at the beginning of the week, and it was really good. Even with the water instead of milk, it is a little bit creamy looking. For lunch, I'm doing a quinoa and vegetable dish in the pressure cooker. Uh, these things are about to expire. This is a butternut squash, a half of a sweet potato and a carrot. I'm going to throw them in the pressure cooker, cook them for five minutes and then they'll be done. As I mentioned earlier, you can get your quinoa in the bulk bins. You can bring your cloth bags to get it in. And remember, you can save money and plastic by bringing your own grocery bag. In the pressure cooker, I'm gonna add one cup of quinoa, all of my vegetables, one and a half cups of water, to eat my quinoa dish. I'm going to cut up some avocado, add a little bit of lemon juice. You can flavor it however you want. You can put some hot sauce, some lemon juice. You can put different spices or fresh herbs. Uh, yeah, it is a very versatile dish. I used what I have and what I had that was going to go bad uh, so that I could prevent food waste. I made some brown rice in the pressure cooker. I did two cups water, one cup brown rice for 20 minutes and it turned out perfectly. Just did some chickpeas in the pressure cooker for one hour. What I like to do is pour a little bit in and just make sure it's covered with water, cover it and plug in the one hour on the pressure cooker. And when I go to the grocery store, I don't get bags for things that I'm gonna wash anyway or that have a thick peeling. So I don't get bags for bananas or oranges. I also don't get bags for things like zucchini or onions. Also, Colleen has a compost bin, but if you don't have a compost bin and you have a yard waste bin, you can throw your food waste in into that. My kale was looking pretty sad, so I cut off the extra sad pieces and I'm going to freeze it for a smoothie tomorrow. I could throw it into my stir fry that I'm making tonight, but I'm not really feeling like kale. 
So that is one way to rescue your almost bad produce. Sometimes when you use a garlic press, there's a lot of garlic that gets left over. You can just scrape that out so you're not wasting it. So I'm gonna, you see all that? I just scraped it from the bottom and I'm gonna toss it into the pan. This is what dinner looks like. We're having brown rice, some chickpeas, and some sauteed vegetables. I did chopped zucchini, onions, and garlic. And what I like about doing the chickpeas is that there's no added salt. So when you do your own chickpeas, no added salt. Also, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, I'm playing based on a budget, but I posted that I got four, uh, four mangoes for a dollar at Sprouts, and now they're just getting ripe, so we're gonna have some of these for dessert. Hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure to check out Colleen's work, which I'm gonna drop down below, and please let me know some of your favorite tips for preventing food waste and avoiding single-use plastic. I think it's amazing that people are trying to be better and more conscious of their footprint on the planet and I'd love to hear your tips. Please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next week. Bye!